Hello students, this is Dr. A. S. Sayyar. I welcome you all for the course on finite element method in civil engineering. Today we will discuss one numerical example on coordinate transformation in isoparametric formulation. We know that in isoparametric formulation, since both the coordinate systems are involved, natural coordinate system as well as Cartesian coordinate system, many times we have to transfer the Cartesian coordinates into natural coordinates or natural coordinates into Cartesian coordinates. That's why you should understand how to transfer the coordinates from one coordinate system to another coordinate system. So that part we'll discuss here with the help of one numerical example. The statement of example is determine the Cartesian coordinates of any point P whose natural coordinates are 0.5 and 0.6 as shown in figure. So in the figure one quadrilateral is given to you where one point P is shown here point P. Natural coordinates of this point P are given to you that is 0.5 and 0.6. Point 0.5 is xi coordinate and 0.6 is eta coordinate. So natural coordinates are given and question is to find out Cartesian coordinates of this point P that is x and y. Okay. So one quadrilateral is given to you in Cartesian coordinate system. Node number 1, 2, 3, 4. Cartesian coordinates of nodes are given. That is 2, 1 for node number 1, 8, 3 for node number 2, 7, 7, node number 3 and 3 for you node number 4. Okay. Now, in solution, first step is draw the parent element for the quadrilateral element as shown in figure. So we know that very first step is draw the parent element of the quadrilateral and we know that parent element of quadrilateral is four noded rectangular element in natural coordinate system. Right. So this is the parent element for the given quadrilateral. This is parent. Right. This is called as parent element. Now, no, sequence of node numbering is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Use the same sequence for the node numbering. Look at here. It is 1, 2, 3 and 4 in anticlockwise sense. So, same sequence is used for node numbers. We know that in natural coordinate system, origin is always assumed at the center. So, coordinates of origin are 0, 0. And coordinates of four nodes are, we know that in natural coordinate system, maximum ordinate is plus one and minimum ordinate is minus one, irrespective of any Cartesian coordinate. So coordinates of node number one are minus one, minus one, because it is in third quadrant. We know if we draw the coordinate system like this, this is third quadrant. So minus, minus, minus one, minus one. This is first quadrant. So both the coordinates are one, one, plus one, plus one. This is second quadrant where xi coordinate is minus 1 and eta coordinate is plus 1. So minus 1, 1. And this is fourth quadrant where xi coordinate is plus 1 and eta coordinate is minus 1. So like this, write down the coordinates of four nodes of rectangular element in natural coordinate system. Okay, this is first step. Understand again, this is the quadrilateral given and this is second part is parent element. So parent element of quadrilateral is four noded rectangular element. Now step number two, we know that shape functions for four noded rectangular element in natural coordinate system are like this. Okay. This already we had discussed in two, three examples how to write down the shape functions of four noded rectangular element. This is node number one representing coordinates minus one, minus one. So shape function will be one minus i, one minus eta upon four. So this minus, minus signs are followed here, minus, minus. Right. Similarly, if you look at node number 2, xi is plus and eta is minus. So it is 1 plus xi, 1 minus eta divided by 4. Now since in node number 3, both the coordinates are plus 1 plus 1. So it will be plus xi plus xi. 1 plus xi, 1 plus eta upon 4. Similarly here, xi is minus and eta is plus. 1 minus xi, 1 plus eta upon 4. So like this, write down shape functions of 4 nodes. 
Now since xi and eta coordinates of any point P are known to us, if you look at the given statement, it is given that natural coordinates of any point P are 0.5u and 0.6, which means xi equal to 0.5u and eta is equal to 0.6. Now, if xi and eta are known, we can find out values of shape functions for xi equal to 0.5 and eta is equal to 0.6. So, for example, n1 is equal to n1 is equal to put here xi equal to 0.5 and eta equal to 0.6. So, if you calculate this, you will get 0.05. Similarly, in n2, xi equal to 0.5, eta equal to 0.6. N3, same xi and eta values and as well as n4. So, if you substitute xi equal to 0.5 and eta equal to 0.6 in all equations of shape function n1, n2, n3, n4, you will get values of these shape functions n1 equal to 0.05, n2 is equal to 0.15, n3 is equal to 0.6 and n4 is equal to 0.2. This is step number 3. Now, once you get the values of shape functions now, we know that already in the given quadrilateral, the coordinates of nodes, Cartesian coordinates of nodes are given to you. That is x1, y1, that is 2, 1, x2, y2, 8, 3. This is, these are the coordinates of node number 3, 7, 7 and coordinates of node number 4 are 3, 5. See, this is already given in the given quadrilateral. Now, we know that according to the equation of isoparametric formulation, Geometry and coordinates are represented in terms of shape function, right? So, x is equal to coordinate x is equal to n1 x1 plus n2 x2 plus n3 x3 plus n4 x4. This is value of x, right? Now, if you want to find out what is the x coordinate of this any point P, if you substitute x1 to x4 and n1 to n4 from the given, so, n1 to n4, we have calculated values of four shape functions in previous step and coordinates of node number 1 to node number 4, Cartesian coordinates are given to us. So, if you use the those coordinates like x1 equal to 2, x2 is equal to 8, x3 equal to 7 and x4 equal to 3, using these values of x1 to x4 and these values of n1 to n4, if you substitute here, if you solve it, you will get x is equal to 6.1. Similarly, second coordinate, second Cartesian coordinate of any point P, y is equal to n1 y1 plus n2 y2 plus n3 y3 plus n4 y4. Same four shape functions are used here, n1 to n4. Only coordinates of nodes are now, y coordinates of nodes 1, 2, 3, 4 are considered y1 to y4. So, if you put y1, y2, y3 and y4 here, if you simplify, you will get y equal to 5.7. So, it means now the Cartesian coordinate of any point P whose natural coordinates are 0.5 and 0 0.6. These are the natural coordinates 0.5 and 0 0.6. The Cartesian coordinate of this point P are now in the previous step it is 6.1 value of x and now it is 5.7 value of y. So, these are the Cartesian coordinates and these are the natural coordinates right so like this if a natural coordinates of any point p are given we can determine cartesian coordinates of that point p okay i repeat these steps briefly again right just a minute yes so this is the problem statement. I repeat again. Determine the Cartesian coordinate of any point P. Any point P whose natural coordinates are 0.5 and 0.6. So, natural coordinates are given. Question is to find out Cartesian coordinate. This is the given quadrilateral. Right. So, Cartesian coordinates of nodes x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 and x4, y4 are given to us. Right. Now, we know that First, we have to very first step is draw the parent element of given quadrilateral. Now, parent element of the given quadrilateral isoparametric element is four noded rectangular element in natural coordinate system. So, this is the parent element of given quadrilateral. 
okay so we have to write down the coordinates of all nodes node number 1 2 and 3 4 right now in step number 2 we have to write down the shape functions of four nodes right we know that how to write down the shape functions now in step number 3 we have to find out values of shape functions at z equal to 0.5 and eta is equal to 0.6 so now n1 n2 n3 and n4 at z equal to 0.5 and 0.6 are known to us then we know that in isoparametric formulation geometry and displacements are represented in terms of shape functions here we have to use the expression of only geometry that is x and y coordinates so x is equal to n1 x1 plus n2 x2 plus n3 x4 where n1 to n4 are the values of four shape functions at z equal to 0.5 and eta equal to 0.6 x1 to x4 are the cartesian coordinate of four nodes which is given in the original quadrilateral figure so these are the x1 x2 x3 x4 if you put those values here x1 to x4 and n1 to n4 and if you simplify you will get x equal to 6.1 similarly if you use the equation of y n1 y1 plus n2 y2 plus n3 y3 plus n4 y4 if you substitute the values of n1 to n4 and y1 to y4 you will get y equal to 5.7 okay so like this we can convert the natural coordinates into cartesian coordinate or if a natural coordinates of any point p are given we can find out the cartesian coordinate of that point p using this process i hope all of you have understand the numerical example in the next lecture we will solve another problem where if a cartesian coordinates of any point p are given how to find out the natural coordinates of that point p okay thank you thank you very much